Hello, this is Jim from Tech Wars, and we're going to talk today about the Sony WF-1000XM trees. A year late, however, they've arrived, and we're going to talk about them very briefly today. Now, I've tested the biggest range of true wireless earbuds in Ireland, and currently, my favourites are some from Jabra, Edifier, Google, and Urbanista, which these also have got ANC built in, so how will these stack up against them? So that's just a couple of my favorite air, plus a few others in here for review. We've another five or six pairs here, five or six more coming. And as I said, we've the biggest range here in Ireland covered with true wireless, something like 50 or 60 pairs now. So unfortunately the unboxing experience won't be happening because this was already sent out as a media sample, but you get your tips, your earbuds, your instruction booklets and all that stuff, and you get a USB-C cable so that's what's in the box you've probably seen a hundred times by now anyway but that's what it is and here is the case here for the sony's it's pretty big but it's nice and premium but it's going to get scratched over time as you can see there not by me and here is the earbuds themselves which have a really nice fit you've got your touch controls there your LEDs and your buds there and your right and left branding up on top there as you can see. So how do they sound? Well, hats off to Sony, they are fantastic. Um, you've got everything here on tap. Uh, you have your Google Assistant built in on the earbud, which is excellent. And you'll tap that and it'll give you your notifications and so on. And what I really like about them as well is the adaptive sound. So we can tell when you're moving around, adaptive sound, you've got ambient sound, you've got your A and C, and you can set this all up through your profiles through the app, which I'm gonna go through now in a second. But the fit's nice, they block out a lot of the noise when you put them in, which is really good. You're never gonna get the real headphone kind of experience, but they're pretty good, I have to say. They are really delivering on the A and C, so I look forward to the next model and perhaps we might get the headphones to test which people are banging on about as well. People are banging on about these and the headphones, so I'm delighted now to find out for myself and see exactly how they stack up against the competition, but I'm impressed with these, I have to say, and really easy to use, really functional, and everything here is on tap on these touch sensitive areas here. And when you tap here, you can change your ANC and so on and get your information from Google into the air and they'll call out your notifications, which I really like. And the controls will then be for the music on the right hand side to play, pause, and skip tracks and so on. So that's how easy they are to use. So we're just going to have a quick look at the app which I have here. So um, we'll go through the controls quickly then. So in the app um, here, you have your information up on top, your battery level, your case level, and then this can tell, as I said, um, I'm moving around. So I've been just looking at some stuff there to see how it's going to sound. And we're just going to get the music up now in a second. First of all, we'll go through the app though. Right, so in the app, here's everything here. So you've got your status, your sound, and your system. So in here then it has the profiles here, which can change. And then you've got your equalizer down here. So it's great to have an equalizer there, so you can really change everything up there. And what you'll do is you'll scan up your ears as well, like a recent pair of headphones I did there. And again, the equalizer is important um, for a lot of people, and as you can see, like the bass turned up there. And if you go through here, you get your voice focused on, it'll tell, it can tell where you are if you're on a train or on a bus or out walking or indoors, and it will adapt to the sound. So it's really nice, um, and it's really clever thinking on Sony's behalf there. So I'll go back into the app here again. And that's what you'll have here in the app. And you have your sound quality mode, your priority, and you can also set your earbuds to the function. So I've mine set up to the um, Google Assistant. So in here you have your tutorial and your software version, your information and all this kind of stuff here, your music center and about the app and all that stuff there. 
So in the status, um, this will tell us here, and you have the text and vaccines here, which is telling me now I'm staying, and it can learn from your location, and you have the adaptive sound on there, and the sound then is in here, and the system is in here. So you have your Google Assistant and the playback control on the right, which I just said earlier. And then you have your automatic power off when you take off, so you've play and pause, and that's pretty much it there. So into the app itself, um, if we go into a music player here, you have the left and the right. So if we just pull this back, I'm gonna actually put them in because it's easier to do when they're actually in the ears to change the system or the music. So a single tap, play and pause, as you can see. Double tap to skip. And triple tap to go back. And that's really about it. And then, as I said, you have your Google Assistant here on this side here, and the ambient sound and so on. So overall, these are pretty, they're damn good, I have to say. Um, and they are really putting some thought processes out there for other manufacturers going forward. But the competition is very stiff at the minute, and there is a lot to think about. Again, sound preference is down to everyone, but for me, testing so many, um, they are right up there on my favorite list now. I'll be going into my top five. Um, these also have got A and C built in, and these are half the price, so it's just a matter of how much functionality you want with the, this version here from Sony. Um, cases on the bigger side, as you can see. Um, to others but it's not really a problem and that's really it so i've just got a notification there now for example on my watch and it comes through on the earbuds which is really cool i really like that um as well so that's something ha something else to think about as well and um, for your notifications on the fly which is really really nice but again back to the case um it's a big one of the bigger cases but not really an issue, you've got battery life overall. Um, the battery life is probably depleted on this somewhat, um, but they've been fairly consistent um, as I've been using them for the last week. And overall, pretty happy. I just find these little buttons here, or the touch sensitive areas, a little touch sensitive, um, too sensitive sometimes, um, because it's just how they are. But overall, they've been pretty good, but they can be a bit sensitive, and if you're using them, putting them in your outer ears, you can trigger, uh, a command or whatever the case is but you can hear there so i'm going to try something here now i'll try and turn that volume up to see if you can hear the actual google assistant it would be good You might be able to hear it there, but it's it telling you the time and so on. It's really good. And you can hear them going off there again. So they're pretty loud as well, which is really nice. You've got good bass, you have control, and that's really about it. So would I recommend them? I would, even though they're a year old. Um, I've been pretty impressed with them, I have to say. And they fit really well in the ears as well. They're not going to fall out. They did fit really snugly and they did give you good noise isolation off the bat, which is really, really nice as well. So that's it for the Sony's, the WF-1000XM3. Try and chart the name Sony to keep it simple. But uh, apart from that, hats off, really good pair of earbuds. I like them. See you in the next one. Thanks for watching.